What is going on guys? It's the Ridgey here coming at you guys with another video here today. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Life is Strange and Spear Animals in Life is Strange. Um, so I'm going to start off talking about Max. And uh, the whole game, I was really trying to figure out what the deer, or the doe, I should say, doe specifically, um, had to do with her because you always saw her you always saw her wearing the Jane Doe t-shirt you always saw her um, with a doe in the doe be she would be following the doe you, you guys know what I'm talking about you've watched the game you know what I'm talking about um, but after after I played the game I kind of looked into it a little bit and there's actually a spirit animal well, a deer is a spirit animal and uh, I'll, I'll read what, you, what it says about it it says, a deer is a symbol of gentleness, grace, and determination. A person identified with this spirit animal is sensitive, intuitive, watchful, wise, and connected to their inner child and has the ability to tackle situations smoothly. Um, I think that really, I mean, that that's Max pretty much to a T. Um, I mean, gentle, she's definitely gentle. Grace, determination. I, I've never seen anybody so determined to do anything I mean, compared, like, she was so determined to save Chloe that, I mean, she would do anything. She's definitely a kid at heart, um, very naive at times. I think that, you know, that shows how, 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 uh, how much of a kid she is. And then the deer totem um, symbolizes a regeneration of life. It could also give you the power to renew life, and I think that, so it, it, it shows the regeneration of life, the totem, the deer totem shows the regeneration of life. I think that, um, that shows why the deer shows up every time uh, Max gets in trouble. Uh, you, you, you see the deer, I'm trying to think here. You see her before the disaster, before the tornado. Um, you see her before the gun, where Chloe gets shot in the junkyard. You see her there, and you also see her before the knife, where I pulled the trigger on um, the one guy with the dog. I forget, I forget his name. But yeah, so then I, I feel like that that shows Max. That is Max to a T. Um, next up is the butterfly. I think this is really interesting because I, I noticed this at the very, very beginning of the game. Um, and it definitely went all the way through to the very end, especially if you chose to uh, save the city. Um, the butterfly is a symbol of transformation. A person identified with this spirit animal can bring joy and bliss. They are lively, bright, and go through various personal transformations. It may be a symbol to indicate you to lighten up and add color to your life. Um... I don't know how else to like that should just in your mind right now you should be going wow that makes perfect sense because um, obviously Chloe transforms throughout the game um, from a little shithead to being a great friend and you can definitely see that see that transformation it, it's it's really amazing how they how the character develops and how uh, don't nod don't nod is the developer of the game how they made the character develop I mean it was it was like watching a movie and it's really amazing um, it's an amazing it's an amazing transformation it's amazing what they did with the spirit animals and how you can see them um, one thing that I think um, there's no really fact behind this but what I think I think uh, Chloe kind of lives on for like that butterfly that little blue butterfly, I think, is her. Weirdly enough, I think that is her. Um, and it's just kind of like her after death in that time loop that I was that that I have talked about in the past in my videos. Um, and I, I think I think that's a perfect closing to the game after you choose to save the city over saving Chloe. And she, uh, the the butterfly lands on top of her casket, and I just think that that's a it's a really good closure for the game itself. Um, 
yeah, butterfly, perfect representation of, of Chloe. Um, next up is the rabbit. I'm going to go through these next few, or next two really fast. Um, the rabbit is a symbol of vulnerability, comfort, abundance. It's associated with sentiment, desire, and procreation. Um, obviously, rabbits are a sign of procreation, because if you breed like a rabbit, you fuck a lot. Um, but yeah, that, I think, describes Kate, um, obviously besides like the procreation part, because she's a very religious girl. Um, but like vulnerability, comfort, you know, all that stuff. Um, I think that's definitely her. Um, I don't know, but I think that that's what I think. I think she's definitely very vulnerable. Um, but in this weird way, she is comforting. Like, in all this like crazy shit that's going on, you know, she's just mellow. And I think that is like weirdly comforting. I don't know, it's just me. Um, next up, the crow, a symbol with positive and negative meanings. It symbolizes mystery, intelligence, magic, void, higher perspective, audacity, watchfulness, trickster, mischievous, and manipulative abilities. Um, it's related to magic and its use. I think this is uh, the principle. Um, one, I didn't know this, but I, I did read it on uh, Steam, actually. When you break into his office, there is a crow sitting on his desk. There's like a statue of a crow sitting on his desk. Um, so that's just another another way they could be related, but I think they're related just because of what I just said. I mean, all the different things. I mean, mystery. You don't know whether to trust him or not. Like, sometimes it seems like you shouldn't because he's kind of being paid off by uh, Nathan's family. But then at other times, he seems like he's your friend. And it's just like this clusterfuck of mystery. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, he's a crow. Next up, um, whales. I thought this the whole game. I was trying to figure out what whale, what whales had to do with anything. Um, but whale, a whale... The whale spirit animal, animal is the Earth's record keeper for all time. As a totem, the whale teaches you about listening to your inner voice, understanding the impact your emotions have on your everyday life, and following your own truth. When the whale enters your life, it may be time to closely examine where you are, the actions and emotions that brought you to this point, and what you can do to alleviate existing drama and unrest and find peace. That right there, this last part where it says, when the whale enters your life, from that point on, um, I think that if, like, if I would have found this while I was playing the game when the whales um, wash up on the shore, I think that is the time where you're supposed to, you know, sit back and really think about the choices that you've made so far in the game, you know, and, and think about what you would do differently and what you would do, what you would keep doing. Um, I think all of the events, the snow, the whales. There's a couple other ones. I don't remember what they are, though. Um, there's an eclipse, too. Yeah, the eclipse. All that stuff. All, all of it represents something. I don't really know what yet, but I think this whale thing, where it's talking about when you're, you're supposed to examine your emotions and examine what you think, I think that you're, you're really supposed to examine what you feel about the game, what you feel about the characters, what who you would sacrifice, what you would sacrifice. Um, yeah, I think that's what that means. Um, now I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go into like how I feel about the ending, um, the game itself. Um, I really enjoyed the game. I thought the ending was sad, but um, oddly satisfying. Um, I was happy with the way it ended. I kind of knew that there was a very good chance Chloe would actually die. Um, I didn't think it would, she would die the way she did, but I did think she would die. Um, the only part I'm disappointed with is the fact that, you know, you play this whole game, right, and you're making all these decisions, and they're supposed to affect um, the way the game ends. And in reality, when you get to the end and you choose to save the city and sacrifice Chloe. Um, really all those choices you've made throughout the game mean nothing at all because you, you go back in time 
and nobody remembers shit they did for that week that you were changing time and all that stuff. I mean, nobody know, nobody, nobody remembers any of it. Um, not to mention like all the all the memories you made with Chloe, all the memories you made with anybody, they're they're all gone. And you know that just kind of it kind of kind of pisses me off a little bit just because like this game was meant to you know every choice affects everything you do and that that just kind of that kind of sucked but other than that great game um definitely recommend it to anybody it's, it's a it's fun to play it's fun to play it's, it's a little heart-wrenching at the end you know you'll feel it but great game um thanks a lot don't nod for making the game um you did a great job I kind of wish I didn't have to wait a month or two months or however long I waited to play each uh, chapter. But thanks a lot. And thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my take on the uh, spirit animal thing debate, if you will. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button up in this area up here. I don't know what direction it is. Maybe it's down here. I don't know. It's somewhere. Um, please hit that. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope y'all have a good day.